Good morning. Good morning. This is the day that our Lord and Savior has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it in this day. Come on, let's lift our hands and give our God a hallelujah. Give our God a praise on this morning. Come on, come on now. He done woke you up this morning. He chose you on this beautiful Sunday morning to get it right again. He chose you this morning to try it all over again. So I hope that right now, this morning, you've given God another opportunity to show forth in your life. I pray that you have clicked this link, not in vain, but you'll be blessed on this morning. Go on and share this link to everybody that you know. And don't listen to my voice, but just listen to God's voice on this morning. I'm just speaking on behalf of my Lord and Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. This is not just any Sunday. Hallelujah. This is Palm Sunday. This is Palm Sunday. This is the day of our Lord and Savior's, not only just any old entry, but his triumphant entry. Come on somebody. Our Lord and Savior went through Jerusalem on this day. Hallelujah. And the people there knew he was coming and they waved their branches. Hallelujah. And they said, praise be unto God. Blessed are the one that comes to the Lord. Hosanna. Hail is to our King. Hallelujah. And if we can just treat every day like a Palm Sunday, that God is going to show up, that our Lord and Savior is on the way. Here he is showing up in our lives. Here he is showing up in our circumstances stances on this morning. I don't know if you know like I know, but I'm treating every day like a Palm Sunday. I'm waving my God in. Here I am right here. You can land right here in my life. You can land right here in the middle of these circumstances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you on today, there's nothing to worry about on this morning. You've been created in God's image on this morning. Hallelujah. I just need you to believe that you've been created in God's image. And if you've been created in God's image, then you've got to choose him as your Lord and say, I've chosen him to be my Lord and Savior on this morning. And he's chosen me back. Hallelujah. And because he's chosen us back, hallelujah, we've been employed by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We've been employed by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And if you know anything about employment, come on, hallelujah, then that means you got a job to do. And I don't know about you, but I'm about my father's business. I'm about my father's kingdom on this morning. Morning. So I want to encourage you to get the work done. Come on now, don't be afraid. Come on, it's time to get some work done in the kingdom of God on this morning. He's done all that he can for us. He keeps on doing things for us. And we have got nothing else to do but just to serve him, work for him, build his kingdom. I told you, I don't know about you now, but I'm ready to do the Lord, the work of my Lord and Savior to slay these demons in this earth. Hallelujah. To slay them and cast them down in the name of Jesus. Us. Should nothing come to our dwelling? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ain't letting this enemy try to attack my voice and sit me down on this morning. I'm going to praise him anyhow. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Come on, somebody know. Hallelujah. Anyhow. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Hallelujah. Anyhow. On this morning. Amen. Amen. He tried to shut me up, but I ain't shutting up. I'm standing up. I'm speaking up. I'm shouting out. I use the last bit of it on my God. I use the last every ounce I got for our Lord. And that's how we got to do it. We've got to give everything that we got. Give everything that we got from our feet on out to our heads. We've got to give our God our all. He's given all that he could do. He's given his life. And I'm just thankful that Jesus has was about his father's business. And he died for us. Hallelujah. Who do you know would die for you? We can say, oh, I die for you and I'm right to die. But do you really know what it means to die, to lay it down for somebody else's life? They nailed his hands and nailed his feet. Come on, somebody. Put a crown of thorns on his head and he still on their behalf asked for forgiveness upon their lives because they didn't know what they were doing. Hallelujah. Come on now. Come on now. I got some crazy faith. I don't know about you, but you got to have some crazy faith where it don't make no kind of sense. It don't make sense. Yeah, he rose up out on the third day and that didn't make no kind of sense and I just thank God for making no our faith is making no sense we got to have that faith that radical faith that I can just believe it makes no kind of sense yeah I don't know how he gonna make this work and it don't have to know because it just don't make no sense come on somebody he's healed you and it didn't make no sense come on you lost your job and the bills was going and still was paid and it didn't make no sense come on 
somebody. You need faith that don't make no sense. People question, like, what in the world? How are they? How are they and doing all this and they got this going on? It just don't make no kind of sense. My Jesus. Hallelujah. So I want you to come on, my guy. Listen, he do things that don't make no sense. And that's why you got to give it to him. Because you can't do it. You make stuff make sense. God do stuff that make no sense. Hallelujah. You got to look like, whoa, that had to be God. That's got to be God. He'll make sure you say, he want people to say, I still believe him. I still trust in our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, on this morning. God, we thank you on this morning morning, God. We thank you, God, for going to Calvary for us on this morning, God. God, we just thank you for your presence in this place. Hallelujah. We thank you for continuously showing up in the name of Jesus, God. And we thank you that you just keep refilling our faith. Hallelujah. That you give us that faith that don't make no kind of sense. You give us that faith that people want to share, want a piece of. Hallelujah. They want your peace, God. Keep giving us your peace, God, in the name of Jesus. I touch those that were viewing us via YouTube or via Facebook and I touch those that are sitting here in the sanctuary on this morning that you just continue to, to show up in our lives. Hallelujah. You continue to rest, rule, and abide in our lives in the name of Jesus, God. God, I just thank you for doing all that you've done and doing all that you're going to do and all the things that you choose not to do, God. God, we just pray that you continue to have your will and your way in our lives on this morning and for all the days to come. Hallelujah, God. We just thank you for riding through Jerusalem. We thank you for being obedient to the Lord to our God and doing our father's business hallelujah we just thank you that you didn't question God's decisions but you just went on and did what he told and employed you to do God and for that we're grateful and for that we're gracious God and for that in return we work for you we surrender to you hallelujah we reverence your name hallelujah on this morning come on drop in the chat hallelujah this morning God we thank you on this morning I declare healing on everyone on this morning and declare peace on everyone on this morning that we are the heads and not the tails on this morning hallelujah we are lenders and not borrowers hallelujah god we just could thank you for continuously blessing us and keeping us in your name we do pray amen amen amen, amen. 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 so with that welcome here to the underground christian center i promise you this is a ministry unlike no other so you've chosen the one ministry that can bless you on this morning you're picked right on this morning you're picked right on this morning this ministry is a bible believer and Bible teaching ministry and we thank God on this morning for such a place as this hallelujah thank you I'm not here listen I'm not here to persuade you the 66 books done enough persuasion the many miracles done enough persuasion I just need somebody to understand and partner up with me to praise the Lord with me on this morning let's just push one another to push towards the mark and push in the presence of God hallelujah each and every day of our lives amen amen, amen. Sunday of the Sunday after Sunday, after Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the vision, Friday and Saturday. Amen. We have the vision here standing up in the corners of this sanctuary every Sunday. And our media team does such a diligent job showing it up for you. And our vision statement is this and recite this and believe this in your heart. It's to become the greatest loving, sowing and harvesting church for the kingdom of God. And with every vision comes a mission statement. You need something to really stand on. And our mission here is this. Our mission is to sow the word of God into the hearts of all people, regardless of their race, culture, or financial position, in order to create a true Christian disciple. I need all my true Christian disciples to say hallelujah. On this. I'm a true Christian disciple. Amen. 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 And before we get into announcements, I want to wish a happy birthday to our sister Shanice. Shanice, she is our media direct. She does everything. I can't even smash. She's a woman of many hats. So Shanice, we want to wish you here at the Underground Christian Center a happy birthday on this morning. We love you and appreciate all that you do here for the ministry and in our lives personally. Amen. Amen. Coming next is our announcements. Come on, pull out your planners, your notebooks, your cell phones, and write down all the days that are coming up. Yes, we're going to remind you about the men's conference. Yes, we're coming to remind you about the women's conference because the tickets are selling. We need you to get your tickets and get in the building and see what God has for you Amen. to get what God has for you. So don't say, oh, here we go with the same. Yes, keep, we keep it in your reminder and your remembrance to write this stuff down and really don't take it into vain. Don't just listen, but really obey.
be obedient and learn and really, really hold on to what we're telling you and hold on to the announcements that go on here at the Underground Christian Center. Be blessed. The Underground Christian Center announcements are as followed. Please join us every Sunday at 10 a.m. for two anointed messages in one service from God's anointed vessels. We guarantee that if you continuously fellowship with us, your life will never be the same. Do you desire to have a foundation that is built on biblical values? Every Thursday at 7 p.m., get ready for a Bible study that expounds on God's truth, led by the Holy Spirit through our very own Bishop Malcolm Duff Sr. Are you married, single, or divorced? Listen, we're calling you to join our lovely leaders every second Wednesday at 7 p.m. as they share key blocks that's required to build a healthy relationship fit for a role model marriage. Gentlemen, join Bishop Malcolm Duff Sr. every third Wednesday at 7 p.m. for the men's empowerment session where men are being repositioned for spiritual victory in every area of their life. Ladies, join First Lady P every second Saturday at 10 a.m. for the amazing Pillow Talk session. The Pillow Talk Empowerment Session is designed to assist every woman with developing a stronger relationship with the Word of God, as well as discovering her true inner beauty. You do not want to miss it. For preaching engagements, evangelism, or prayer, please reach out to us via phone, mail, or email. If you'd like to financially bless the ministry, utilize the Give Lifely app or use our website or mail a check-in via traditional mail. We'd like to thank you again for your support. Hey, ladies, it's about that time for this year, 2024 Pillow Talk Symposium with yours truly, Lady Duff, which is going to be held on Saturday, September the 14th, between the hours of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Embassy Suites Hotel, Newark, Delaware. I'm telling you, I'm so elated. I'm so excited, ladies. Amen. As we come together, amen. I'm expecting a great move of God along with food, fun, and fellowship. You do not want to miss this awesome move of God and spend in time with the women of God. Tickets on sale now in the description box below. I hope to see your lovely faces at this year's 2024 Pillow Talk Symposium with Lady Duff. Amen. Good morning. Good morning to each and every one of you. Come on, let's put our blessed hands together because I know you governed those announcements. Amen. And I know you had your calendar out. Wasn't that a blessed opening service? Amen. Glory be to God. Did you not hear what the woman of God said? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. When God blesses you, it makes no sense whatsoever. Glory be to God. Our minds can't even comprehend. Glory be to God. God, the blessings of the Lord. Uh, glory be to God. We thank God this morning for this opening service. We thank God for you coming in this morning. Amen. Whether you're viewing YouTube live or Facebook or you joined us in live Sunday for this Palm Sunday, I tell you, God is an awesome God, church. Uh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. He's keep on doing great things for us. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I heard a woman of old say, Every time I turn around, the Lord keeps blessing me. Every time I look around, the Lord is continually blessing me. So if we know that every time we turn around and look around, that God is blessing us. Amen. Glory be to God. He's dropping nuggets down in us. Amen. Glory be to God. Brand new, brand new mornings. Amen. Glory be to God. That's full with God's blessing. You ought to stand up on your feet and give a God a good God bless you. Give the God of your salvation. The God of the Bible, a good God bless you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Every time you look around, it don't make any sense how God continue to bless you. Even though in your false state, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Even when you messed up upon 
done yesterday, glory be to God, the day before. And even if you messed up this morning, uh, God said, I'm still blessing you. Uh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve here at the Underground Christian Center. Uh, don't sit up on your praise. Uh, don't let the fire burn out. Uh, give him a good God bless you. Uh, glory be to God. Because despite glory be to God, who we are, God still blesses us. Uh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. I want you to let that word settle in your heart that it doesn't make any sense. And every time I turn around, God continue to leave to bless me. Glory be to God. Let that residue in your heart and your spirit. And when that residue and take effect in your heart and your spirit, you wouldn't be help but praise God. Glory be to God. Because now you recognize it's no goodness of my own, but it's the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ who desires to bless us, uh, who decided to bless us, uh, who decided to keep us. Uh, so let's put our blessed hands together one more time uh, for that word. Uh, hallelujah. This morning, taking precedence and residue in our hearts and our minds. Uh, aren't you excited this morning? Glory be to God. And I stand here in amaze and awe. Glory be to God. Because 35 years ago, uh, glory be to God, God blessed me with my first child, uh, with my, our first child, I should say, Bishop Duff and I, first child, amen, and it was a beautiful daughter, amen, and that daughter is Shanice, amen, glory be to God, who, like the woman of God says, wear many hats within the ministry, she is the director of our media department, amen, and I thank God for her, G amen, glory be to God, not only that God had given me such a precious gift, uh, 35 years ago to to, to to love on her, amen, glory be to God, to care for her, amen, glory be to God, and in turn, she became a blessing unto us, amen, so we do wish Shanice Wilson a happy, blessed birthday, 35 years, hallelujah, and I pray God, amen, give you a hundred years plus, amen, here in the earth room, amen, so let's give it up, amen, glory be to God, it's okay, amen, to bless someone else, amen, because she is a an integral part here in the work of the ministry that God has us here at the Underground Christian Center. I hope you still excited, amen, but I had to give that up, amen, glory be to God. I had to give thanksgiving to my Lord and Savior, God the Father, because of who she is, amen, glory be to God, hallelujah, and we do thank God for her, amen, this morning, amen, glory be to God, hallelujah, well, Sunday after Sunday, if you never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, Savior. Well, what a beautiful Sunday it is. Amen. Palm Sunday. Amen. For you, amen, to surrender all and give it all to God. Amen. Glory be to God as your personal Savior. And those that are in backsliding condition, amen, what a perfect Sunday for you, amen, to recommit yourself back unto God the Father. Amen. For Romans chapter 3 verses uh, 23 tells us, amen, that we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. But thanks be to God, amen, for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And if we confess it with our mouth, amen, and believe in our heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, amen, according to Romans chapter 10, verses 9, amen. Glory be to God, hallelujah. But Romans chapter 10, verses 10 says this, for with the heart man believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation, amen. All you have to do, amen, is to believe, amen, with all your heart, amen, that Jesus is Lord, King, and Savior, amen, and that God had raised him from the dead. And now he is sitting at the right hand of the Father, ever incessant for us. Amen. Glory be to God. All you have to do is say a short, powerful prayer. And it goes like this. Father, in the name of Jesus, I boldly come to your throne and presence, asking for forgiveness. Father, I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Glory be to God. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you have raised him from the dead. And now I am saved. I thank you today, God, that you have pulled me out of darkness into your marvelous light. I thank you today day, God, that you accept me into the beloved. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Come on, let's put our blessed hands together. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you are a new convert and you just converted over to Christianity, glory be to God. If you were just saved, amen. We want to put, we want to bless God for you. Amen. Glory be to God. And those, amen. Glory be to God that just 
recommitted themselves back unto God the Father because they were in a backsliding condition. Welcome back to the sheepfold. Amen. You do have your robe. Amen. You do have your signet ring. Amen. And you do have your crown. Continue to stay in the things of God. Amen. Glory be to God. No matter what comes your way. Amen. Glory be to God. I'm going to tell you the devil is going to try to pull you back out. But I want you, amen, to be steadfast in God. Amen. When you put your trust, hope, and relying on him, amen, you will not be put to shame. All days is not going to be a bed of roses. But one thing for sure, amen, that you got to know that God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am there with you always. Amen. Glory be to God. So let's give it up for the new converts and those that recommitted themselves back unto God the Father. I'm telling you, the heavens are rejoicing. And we here at the Underground Christian Center is rejoicing as well. Amen. Because I know God has a special plan and a special purpose on your life. Amen. Glory be to God. You may not have known it, but amen. I'm coming to tell you, glory be to God, that God has a purpose and a plan for your life. You just stick with him. Amen. Glory be to God. Stick to him like glue. Amen. Glory be to God because he will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Come on, let's give it up for them. Amen. Oh, glory be to God. What a wonderful Sunday morning it is. Amen. So let's go into the word of God. I just want to thank everyone. Amen. Glory be to God who came out. My daughters came out for the shut-in on Friday. Amen. Glory be to God. I don't, I'm going to tell you, church, God is moving us back to the old time way. Oh, yes, to the old time way so he can come and recognize his church again. Because what we seeing right now and what God is saying, amen, I do not even recognize my church, amen. So he's pulling us back, amen, those remnants back to the old time way where we prayed and we fast and we had shut in and we seen God's miraculous work, amen, his hand, amen, being upon. Glory be to God, us, those who had shut in in him. Glory be to God. So God is calling back the old time way so he can go ahead glory be to God and recognize his church here in the earth from so when he comes back he's coming back for a church without spot and wrinkle amen not spotted of the things of the world amen glory be to God hallelujah but pressed and clean in the word of God amen glory be to God hallelujah I come to tell you this morning that God is turning us back to the old time ways amen because he wants to see us amen be his church here in this dark Dark world. Amen. Glory be to God. So if I can hold your attention for just a few more fleeting moments. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I want to share with you on this beautiful Sunday morning, which is Palm Sunday, where we will always hear the awesome and I mean awesome message of the triumphal entry of our Lord, Savior and King riding on a donkey into Jerusalem a week before Jesus death, burial and resur resurrection. But this morning topic will come to you in a form form of a question and that question is this where are my whistleblowers where are the whistleblowers yes where are the whistleblowers for the God of the Bible who is our Heavenly Father and for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ like I've stated before this is not the usual message that is brought forth on Palm Sunday but this is a very significant message to us as God's remnant those that are left here to do the work of the Lord as God called out and picked hand-picked chosen people to hold fast to the truth that is written in scripture. We as believers in Christ have to stand up and call out those individuals who call themselves pastors who are harming the body of Christ with their vain philosophy, such as the Bible is not powerful enough to keep people and that we have to have entertainment in order to keep people coming to clubs because surely these individuals who state such things does not represent God nor Jesus Christ as they believe that just standing on scripture truth is not merely enough. And we need something else, a tag along to go with the word of God. When we hear things such as this being spoken in so many so-called pulpits, we must blow the whistle, church, and call that lie out. We as the believers in Christ hear such lies. We ought to stand up and dismantle the 
lies of Satan. But unfortunately, what we are noticing and seeing that so-called Christians have decided not to speak up uh -huh, for what they know is true when the opportunity, what, presents itself. Glory be to God, as we've seen it on the national airways, amen. When Kirk Franklin, amen, went on Club Shay Shay, amen, he talked down about the church. Glory be to God, but he didn't stand on the gospel of Jesus Christ. That was the perfect opportunity for him, amen, glory be to God, to bring his name Shay Shay into the body of Christ. That was his perfect opportunity, amen, to preach the sound gospel of Jesus Christ. But he did not, amen, glory be to God. Hallelujah, glory be to God. He did not, glory be to God. We thank God, amen, for this word this morning. They had decided, amen, such as Sir Kurt Franklin and all the rest of them, amen, decided to sit on the sidelines and say nothing to refute the lies. They say God will handle that, what is true, but that is true. Mm -hmm. They are missing the key amulet that God has left us here, his remnant, to stand up and proclaim God's word and be a whistleblower. Can I get an amen? Whistleblowers are used to combat the foolishness, the foolery that is occurring, happening in the body of Christ. They expose darkness, which is the tactics and the schemes of the devil. As true believers, we have been commissioned by God and his infallible word to rebuke uh -huh, and reprove, meaning to stand up and open our mouths when we see erroneous teaching being spoken out from mouths of false teachers and false prophets. Uh -huh. We ought to correct when we see the misinterpretation or mishandling of scripture truth and to exalt, meaning to strongly encourage the body of believers to remain in the truth that is written in God's holy word. Can I get an amen, church? We are in a time, if you haven't noticed, where society and believers are striving against our maker, which is God. A lot of believers are now questioning homosexuality and lesbianism. Glory be to God to see if indeed is it wrong to marry a man. Glory be to God, hallelujah, with a man and vice versa. Since these are whom Christ has died for, glory be to God. Therefore, once, once was wrong, it's now made right in society and it has now crept into the local church. And and, and an overwhelming amount of Christians are seemingly adapting or accepting this lie. The Bible clearly, glory be to God, let us know in Isaiah chapter 5 verses 20. Now I want you to go to Isaiah chapter 5 verses 20 because what we will read in this, amen, glory be to God, it's the prophet Isaiah is telling them, woe unto them that, that call evil good and good evil. Amen. Back in the day, glory be to God, lesbianism and homosexuality, lying, stealing, adultery, fornication, they was all bad. They was all terrible. Glory be to God. But nowadays, all these things that I mentioned, glory be to God, has now be acceptable, now have turned good. Glory be to God when it once was evil. Amen. But don't forget what the prophet Isaiah says in chapter 5, verses 20. Amen. Glory be to God. Are you there, church? Amen. Media department, make sure you get Isaiah chapter 5, verses 20. Glory be to God. And we're going to read to 20, the 21st verse as well. So Isaiah chapter 5 verses 20 say this. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own sight and prudent in their own sight. Amen. We became so wise that we became stupid. Glory be to God. We became so wise in our sight. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God that now we flip the script. Uh, glory be to God. Now we're calling good evil and evil good. Uh, now we're saying God's truth and God's word is now darkness to, uh, to people. Amen. Glory be to God. They put the sweet of the word of God and made it bitter tasting to them. Uh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. They, we made ourselves more wise than what we are. It's not sticking to the word of God and the scripture truth. Uh, the, woe here meaning judgment is coming. 
name. Can I repeat that one more time? Once again, woe here, meaning judgment is coming. Um, the prophet Isaiah was warning the people that judgment is coming, but I come to tell you this morning that judgment is happening right now. Um, glory be to God. I'm going to say that again. Uh, judgment is happening right now, and it's beginning in the household of faith, uh, and then it spreads about. Uh, glory be to God. Now we see, glory be to God, hallelujah, pastors and teachers, uh, glory be to God, doing an abomination. Glory be to God, hallelujah, within the four walls of the so-called church, uh, having baby, baby dedication. Uh, glory be to God for lesbian parents uh, and vice versa. Uh, what kind of foolishness is that? Uh, did we yet turn evil into good? Uh, glory be to God. Did we out yet start ourselves? Uh, glory be to God. When we turn away from the scripture truth, uh, I come to tell you we did. Uh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. We did outsmart our own self. Uh, but guess what? We didn't outsmart God, uh, the one that created us. Uh, in the name of Jesus, the one that created everything in the heaven and the earth, uh, we have not outsmart him. Uh, glory be to God. And God had written judgment uh, in the household of faith. Uh, hear me now people of God. A whistleblower is someone with a strong moral sense who becomes outraged at wrongdoings. How many outrage when you see wrongdoings? How many are outraged, glory be to God, when you see lies coming from the pulpit? Well, I come to tell you, you are a whistleblower. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You become outraged. Glory be to God at wrongdoings at work. We can replace the word work with the what? The body of Christ. And bravely, this is what whistleblower Blowers do. They bravely chooses to speak up about it. Um, what is a whistleblower? A, blush, a whistleblower is one who informs on another or makes public disclosure of corruption uh -huh, within the body of Christ, wrongdoings within the body of Christ, marrying, glory be to God, men with men, women with women, uh, problems that we see, glory be to God, divisions within the body of Christ, glory be to God, hallelujah, these Alexander Coppersmiths, amen, that's coming up, amen, that's challenging the word of God, that's within the body of Christ or secret information, especially within that organization and we as the body of Christ is the organization of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ here in the earth realm. Glory be to God. When you are called to be a whistleblower, which all of us mm -hmm, should be a whistleblower, you must possess courage and boldness to stand up against any and all things that comes to attack what the body of Christ. You can't be afraid to do to go against the powers from the ranger from the government to within the body of Christ. A whistleblower cannot be one that is a wimpy Christian and afraid to open up your mouth. Can I say that one more time? A whistleblower cannot be a wimpy Christian and afraid to open up your mouth. What is wimpy? Amen. Regarding as what? Weak and cowardly or feeble. Glory be to God. As we as Christians, we are a bold soldier for Jesus Christ. We're not weak. We're not cowardly. We're not scared. We're not feeble. We don't shake. Glory be to God because the devil is on the scene. Amen. We rebuke the devil with power and authority that Jesus Christ have given us. Glory be to God. Can I get some whistle blowers to put in a live chat and said, I am a whistle blower. Glory be to God. I want you to write that. I want you to say it. I want you to touch yourself and say, I am the whistle blower for Christ. Amen. I am not weak. I'm not cowardly. I'm not feeble, but I stand on righteousness and holiness. I stand with the God of the Bible. I stand with the 66 books that you left here for me to stand. Although out the Bible, all throughout the Bible, we see that everyone that was called was a whistleblower. Amen. From the minor prophets to the major prophets. Amen. Glory be to God. All throughout the Bible, glory be to God, they were whistleblowers. The ultimate whistleblower was what our Lord and Savior King, Lord Jesus, who spoke out against the religious leaders continually. <laughs> That's what whistleblowers do. They can continually, glory be to God, go against, glory be to God, what is placed by the devil. Glory be to God. They come against religious sectors. They come against, amen, Catholics, who now Pope Francis, amen, is second guessing, amen, about homosexuality. That was never heard in the Catholic Church. 
It was an abomination. Glory be to God to Catholic faith. But this newfound Pope, amen. Glory be to God. He's welcoming that in. Glory be to God. So Jesus came on the scene. We are on the scene today, amen. Glory be to God to come against the religious leaders of this day. Continually, glory be to God, steadfastly, unremovable. Glory be to God. We come to, glory be to God, against the religious leaders. He called them vipers, didn't he? He called them wolves in sheep clothing. He washed, he whitewashed uh, scepters. And he said that they will travel over ocean in order to make one proselyte and then make them twice the son of hell as they are. Glory be to God. Today we are living in similar times, church. Amen. Don't we see it? We living in similar times. Uh, glory be to God. People giving themselves high sounding titles uh, have infiltrated our churches, schools, and every type of ministry. Uh, glory be to God. They have puffed themselves up. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. These people are the rogue. Didn't I say they go rogue last week? Amen. Glory be to God. These people are rogue or a shadowing Christian. Amen. Glory be to God. They do not walk in the light of Jesus Christ. When you go rogue, you do not walk in the things of Christ. Glory be to God. That's why whistleblowers are so important. Glory be to God within the body of Christ. Glory be to God. True whistleblowers. Amen. Glory be to God. Know the word of God. Glory be to God. And instantly hear an error, an erroneous teaching, and instantly they fight against it. They rapid fire it with the word of God. Amen. Glory be to God. But Jesus advised me aware of what he did. Jesus also advised us, whistleblowed us, and said, advise, because beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly, they are what? Raving wolves. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The infamous, the major, the awesome, glory be to God, whistleblowers. Glory be to God, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Glory be to God. Advise us of the beware of false prophets, which comes in keeps clothing, which we see on a daily behind God's so-called pulpits. But he said, inwardly, they are ravenous wolves. Amen. So Matthew chapter 7, verses 15. I need for you to see this. Amen. Glory be to God. So you will know, amen, it's not Lady Duff who's talking. It's Jesus himself. Uh, glory be to God. The number one uno whistleblower. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 7, verses 15. Media department, do you have that? I hope you do. Amen. Glory be to God. If not, write it down. Amen. Matthew chapter Chapter 7 verses 15 says this, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Um, ye serpents, mm -hmm, you generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? That was in Matthew chapter 23 verses 33. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus is saying, you know what? You serpents, you generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? For those that now turn evil into good and good into evil, amen, taking light for darkness and darkness for light, amen, how are you going to escape the damnation of hell? Glory be to God. God calls you, ye serpents, you generation of vipers, woe unto you. Glory be to God. The Amplified Bible Class in edition of Matthew chapter 23, verses 33, that's Matthew chapter 23, verses 33 says this, you serpents, you spawn of vipers. How can you escape the penalty to be suffered in hell? Glory be to God. Why did Jesus blow the whistle on these real reprobates? He knew their hearts. He saw their motives and everything that they did. Glory be to God. I come to tell you, watch your motives. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. That's a little side note for those that are hearing. Watch your motives. Make sure your motives is pure and holy and line up with the word of God. Glory be to God. If not you too, glory be to God will be flown in to hell's fire. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Whistleblowers has to be able to return rapid fire, meaning that they have to quickly stand, as I said before, and combat the lie with the truth that is in God's 66 books. For instance, John the Baptist was a whistleblower when he told King Herod that it was unlawful for him to have his brother Philip's wife, Herodias. Amen. And Herodias was mad. Glory be to God. Because why? The truth of the John blew that 
that whistle on that truth. Amen. Glory be to God. But she had a plan. Glory be to God. How you meant glory be to God. I want to speak to the men this morning. Amen. How gullible are you? Um, glory be to God. When a woman can come, glory be to God. Hallelujah. And dance in front of you. Amen. And you, glory be to God, give her up to your half of what you own. Glory be to God. Aren't you stupid? Glory be to God. You should have stupid on your forehead. Glory be to God because that's the oldest book in the trick on the, on the, the trick of the enemy. That's the oldest trick in the enemy. You foolish men. Glory be to God. A woman shouldn't hightail around you and you fall for it. Glory be to God. But the enemy knows. Amen. Glory be to God because what is in you sure will come out of you. Amen. Glory be to God. See, a whistleblower must have thick skin, uh -huh. meaning that he or she doesn't fall under pressure when opposition occurs. Amen. Glory be to God. You have to have that thick skin. Uh, glory be to God. When you are leaders, as Pastor Duff was saying in our leadership conference, our leadership training, amen, leaders must have thick skin. Uh, whistleblowers must have thick skin. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He don't, he or she don't care. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Whatever fire they come in uh, underneath. Amen. But they're going to stand on the boldness of the word of God. Uh, glory be to God. No matter what opposition come from the government on down into the household of faith. Amen. Whistleblowers stand ashore. Amen. Glory be to God. They ain't going to close their mouth. Uh, they ain't going to cowardly run back. Uh, amen. And put their tail between their legs. Uh, they're going to stand up and roar like a lion. Uh, glory be to God. A lion. Glory be to God. That is full of courage. Amen. With the chest broke out. Amen. Glory be to God. As a whistleblower, don't, you don't fear what man or society can do to you for blowing the whistle on corruption that you notice within the body of Christ and in society. For it's written and by our Lord Jesus Christ to fear no man or what man can do. But he said, but to fear man, the fear God who can what kill the body and cast our very souls into hell. Glory be to God. Therefore, turn with me to Luke chapter 12, verses 4 and 5. Whistleblowers, yep. don't care. Don't be afraid of those people. From the government into the pulpit of what they can do, they can kill your body. Oh, yes, they can, but they can't kill your soul. God is saying, fear me. Fear me who can kill you at a dime and cast your spirit right into hell. Cast your soul right into hell. So Luke chapter 12, verses 4 and 5. And I want to read this for your hearing. Amen. And we're going to be closing out soon. Amen. Glory be to God. That's Luke chapter 12, verses 4 and 5. Amen. Glory be to God. For whistleblowers, yeah. you're fierce. Mm, glory be to God. You don't fear man. We only fear God. Yeah. We reference him. Glory be to God. Because we know, glory be to God, he is our ultimate judge. Glory be to God. Joy and conviction. Amen. Glory be to God. So if you're there at Luke chapter 12, verses 4 to 5, and I'm going to read the King James Version, it says this. And I say unto you, my friends, mm -hmm, that's Jesus talking. Be not afraid of them that kill the body mm -hmm. and after that have no more that they can do. But verse five says this, but I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him, the God of your salvation, the God of the Bible. Amen. Which after he hath killed, had power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear God. Hebrews chapter 13, verses six. Amen. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 6 says this. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Glory be to God. God saying, hey, this ain't the time for you to fear. This is the time for you to stand up and blow that whistle. Blow that trumpet in Zion. Sound that alarm. When I tell you, when you hear something, when you hear that foolery coming out of my body, Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I need for you to stand up. I need you to send the rod of correction. I need for you to rebuke them. Glory be to God and let them know. Amen. Glory be to God. Is if it not in the word, it ain't of God. Glory be to God. I'm come to tell you if it's not in the word of God, it ain't of God, church. Glory be to God. See, when you are a whistleblower, you examine every word that comes out of the mouth of 
everyone that says that they are Christian. Uh huh. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You ought to not only examine every word that come out of us as preachers and teachers of the gospel and pastors and apostles. Amen. Glory be to God. And bishops that stand behind the pulpit. But you also, amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Watch what people are saying who are lay members that don't have a title. Amen. And we ought to what? Correct them when they're out of order by what? Loving kindness. We correct them, amen, with the word of God. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is what God wants us to do. He wants us to emulate Christ here in the earth. From. As Christ was a whistleblower, we were a whistleblower. And we continue to whistleblow until God takes our last breath. And we end up in heaven. So do I have any whistleblowers here? Amen. Do I have any online viewing? Amen. I want you to say I'm a whistleblower for Christ. Oh, come on, put it in the live chat. I am a whistleblower for Christ this morning. Glory be to God. There's no other way but to be that whistleblower. For what we are singing here in the earth from is because we fail as the true believers to speak up. We made dormant. We closed our eyes like if we didn't see anything. But God is showing us even when we close our eyes. He shows us what's wrong, what's out of order in his body. And when God shows you something wrong and what's out of order in his body, it's up to you to cry out loud in the morning. It's up to you to say something. Because guess what? If you don't say nothing, amen, it's on your hands. The blood is required on your hands. Because when you see something wrong, amen, and these people die and die in their sins, God left us accountable. We won't be free of that. We will have to be accountable. Glory be to God for those that have lost their lives on our watch. Yeah. So continue to be that whistleblower, church. Amen. Yeah. Oh, we bless the name of the Lord. Come on now. Put your blessed hands together if you got a word this morning. Amen. Yeah. On this Palm Sunday morning. I'm telling you, it wasn't the it was the most popular. Amen. When we come and we hear about Palm Sunday, amen. Glory be to God. That's an awesome word. Uh, but God switched it this morning, amen. And he came into a form of a question. Where are the whistleblowers? Uh, glory be to God. He took me into Jesus, was the instrument. Glory be to God, the number one Uno whistleblower. Yeah. Glory be to God. We got to expose darkness like never before. We got to put the truth of God's word back into his church. We got to go back to the old times way, which you heard me to say earlier. We got to get back into fasting and praying. Yeah. We got to get back into shut-ins so we can hear and feel the power of God. Yeah. God is reinstating the old time way. Because like I said, when he looks in the earth to and fro. He can't even find his resemblance in the church mm -hmm. and many of the churches. Glory be to God. He's saying, what is this? Yeah. Glory be to God. I can see him. I can see Moses on the top of the mountain with God giving God and God giving him the Ten Commandments. Yeah. But all the while down there, Aaron and all the rest of the Israelites, glory be to God, is partying, having orgies. Glory be to God. How worshiping other gods. Glory be to God. Made a calf, an image of a calf to want to worship them because they didn't know what became of Moses. Because Moses was in that mountain for a very long time with God, talking to God, communing with God. And God's doing the same thing with Moses. But God stopped them and said, You need to go back down there. Yeah. I'm not recognizing them. They went rogue, they went buck wild. They went far away from my audience and what I have proclaimed them to be and to do. But that's what God sees in the earth from in many of these churches. We have gone wrong. We have played the harlot. We are sleeping with idols. We're sleeping with the divine nine. Sororities and fraternities, those Greek gods. We're doing everything. But the whistleblowers are there. Amen. To not just see and be quiet. No. And to pray. No. They to see, open up their mouth and to pray. Glory be to God. 
hear this message this morning. For you are called to be a whistleblower. For those that are hearing my voice, under the sound of my voice, you are called to be a whistleblower for the Lord. Amen. Can we put our blessed hands together? Amen. Oh, we can do better than that. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank and I praise you for this word. Glory be to God. You're calling for your whistleblowers to stand up. You're calling us, amen, glory be to God, hallelujah, to not be a coward, glory be to God, but to stand up as a bold soldier, declaring your holy word today, God. Oh, God, you're telling us, amen, glory be to God, when we hear or see something, glory be to God, completely contrary to your word, we as whistleblowers ought to stand up, amen. Glory be to God and have our battle axe, which is the word of God, in our hand to slay the devil, amen, to slay the lies of the enemy, glory be to God. Oh, God, I just thank you, Father God, for this word. Allow this word, amen, glory be to God, to grow roots in us like never before, that we may be become that whistleblower that you have called each and every one of us to be. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Come on, let's put our blessed hands together for this morning word, amen. Glory be to God, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Now we're in the tithes and offering section. I want you to give according to how God leads you. If you're joining us for the first time on this Palm Sunday and you are a part of another fellowship, we ask you to give your 10% there. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We ain't no robs or thieves over here. Glory be to God. But you are to give your 10% to the place you're fellowshipping at. Amen. But if God lays upon your heart, amen, to give an offering here for the Underground Christian Center, I want you to do that. No offering is too small or too great. Amen. I want you to be led by the Holy Spirit. I want you to be led by God. Amen. This morning. Amen. And given. Amen. Now you're in the media department's hands. Hey, man, we truly bless the Lord for what you have given. Come on, let's put our blessed hands together. Amen. Oh, come on, just put our blessed hands together for the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the God of our salvation. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. We pray for a hundred full blessings be returned back to you because of your obedience. Can we give it one more time up for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Oh, glory be to God. We thank God once again. Amen. Now the doors of the church are open. And if anyone desired to join Team Jesus and be a part of the work here at the Underground Christian Center, we invite you to do this at this time. This ministry is focused on doing the will of God and His will alone. If you would like to be a part of the work here at the Underground Christian Center, then please drop a message 
message in the live chat and say, I would like to be a part of the work here at the Underground Christian Center. And those that are in live sanctuary service, you can do that by the waving of hands. You can also reach us, amen, at the church number at 302-553-1589. Our church number, once again, is area code 302-553-1589. Or you can reach us, glory be to God, via email at uccadmin at uccnation.org. Once again, it's uccadmin at uccnation.org. Or you can continue to reach us at our old email address at the Underground Christian Center at gmail.com. Once again, it's the Underground Christian Center at gmail.com. Or you can write us via correspondence at P.O. Box 44, Smyrna, Delaware, 19977. Once again, it's P.O. Box 44, Smyrna, Delaware, 19977. Amen. Let's give it up. Amen. Glory be to God. There's so many avenues that you can reach us here at the Underground Christian Center. I want you to pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. To connect to this ministry. Amen. Glory be to God. But this ministry is of the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. So if all hearts and minds are clear other than what? The word of God. Amen. We're going to close out. Amen. This beautiful Palm Sunday by y'all standing up on your feet. Those in sanctuary service and those that are viewing YouTube live and Facebook live. Amen. And I want you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. God, God. First. first. Be blessed.